The Grill at Bear Creek is a full-service restaurant serving seasonal favorites in Berks County. It offers an intimate dining experience and an excellent mountain view. Executive chef Anthony DiStefano and manager Jeff, Jack Lawback join Eve in the kitchen. Good morning. Thanks, Haciel. Yeah, we're so excited to have Anthony and Jack with us in the kitchen. Great to see you guys. Hello, hello. So we were just talking about Bear Creek and how it is bumping year-round, right? Absolutely. How's it, what's going on over there right now? Well, we are in the thick of our wedding season season so oh, you know boy. it's a great place to get married we've mm -hmm. got three ballrooms that you know all year round we can accommodate tons and tons of people yeah uh, we've also got our uh, country jam fall festival coming up Sunday October 16th great. super excited for that tons of local vendors live music you know family fun activities for everyone so super yeah. and Anthony I know that the restaurants a popular spot and absolutely, people come absolutely. if they're staying or they come for the night just to, to dine and I know you're getting ready to launch a new menu right? absolutely uh, mid November that. the grill is going to uh, launch their new menu uh, okay. trails End, which is our cafe great uh, just launched a new menu uh, earlier this week okay. uh, and we are constantly trying to uh, um, you know bring the best quality foods that we can and give the guests the best experience that they can. Great, awesome. So what are we gonna cook this morning? Let's get to it. Awesome, uh, we're gonna start out today with a grilled salmon BLT. Ooh, that's yum. gonna be on a whole wheat berry bread, uh, a roasted shallot aioli, uh, guacamole smash. Uh, and then we have our house cured bacon. Uh, with that, if you would like me to start. I yeah, can go ahead, awesome. you can get going, yeah, that's uh, great. Just a nice piece of uh, Atlantic salmon. Uh, we prefer to try to grill it. Um, I think it brings out a lot of great flavors. Uh, and uh, at the same time, too, I think the texture of the salmon lends to it. So is this something you can get for lunch? Is it on the lunch menu? Or? So we open for lunch once the, uh, in the grill, we open mm -hmm. for lunch once uh, the winter season hits. And then uh, Saturdays and Sundays, we're open there. And then uh, we open up at 5 o'clock uh, for dinner. And yes, this is one of the menu items that is available okay, all great. the time. I remember when I when I last went there, you know, that you it was cool because you could have something light or Absolutely. you could have a real great, delicious entree. Yeah. Which uh, this year, we just paired with uh, 44 Farms in the grill, uh, which is out of uh, Texas. This is more of a boutique um, uh, cattle raiser. They only do 300 okay. heads of cattle uh, a month. Uh -huh. So they're going to take care of our beef program. We have the 20 ounce bone in uh, New York Strip, which I think is awesome. And yeah. um, we'll prepare that later on in the show. Okay, great. Uh, we'll Stand do a by lot for with that. vegan. We do a lot with vegetarian. Great. Um, you know, we try to give everybody a. Uh, I want them to have a memorable experience when they come back. Awesome. Yeah. And Jack, I know you can't yeah. predict, but for the ski and snowboard lovers uh, watching this morning, what's like the ultimate, if you can open by like what date is considered a great season? In my eyes, I think Thanksgiving okay. and I, that's every snowboarder and skier's dream. Uh, you know, realistically, we're probably talking first week in December, maybe okay. maybe a little bit further. Fingers but crossed, right? Fingers crossed, right? crossed yeah. nature. Mother toes crossed, nature dictates. exactly. Mother nature dictates, so you can get off the slope. Ski season isn't here just yet, but the grill at Bear Creek Mountain Resort has been busy whipping up some seasonal favorites. Executive chef Anthony DeStefano and manager Jack Lombach join Matt in the Sunrise Kitchen. Guys, good morning. Hey, guys, good morning. Thank you, gentlemen. Welcome to our kitchen. Thank, Thank you, you so and much. happy Friday. Happy, happy Friday is always a good thing. Things are good at the resort, I assume. Fantastic. Doesn't matter if it's ski season or not. No, right, sir. Although we're getting there. We're getting there. We're right getting around there. the corner. Right around the corner, which is an exciting time. All right, let's quick show the uh, the finished product because you're working on that salmon BLT yeah, absolutely it's the first time around uh, so this is the finished product which you can get at the, the grill uh, this is uh, grilled Atlantic salmon with our house made bacon or roasted shallot aioli guacamole smash uh, Obviously the tomato uh, and some uh, red oak lettuce. Uh, and then we also grill uh, our um, a wheat berry bread. And then uh, because you guys didn't have a fryer today, we decided as a chef yeah. uh, to come on in and do some cottage fries for you. Uh, we've got some charred carrots starting for our last food segment. Okay. Uh, and then uh, we're gonna go right into the uh, Colorado uh, Black Canyon Elk Burger. All right, this, uh, this is a popular dish, the Elk Burger. I mean, I love elk, but I feel like some people are like, elk? No, I, I right? think uh, it is very popular. That and buffalo are really, really popular. Right. Uh, we stick to the Black Canyon Elk uh, program out of Colorado. Right. Uh, very rich. It eats very voluptuous. Yeah. Uh, and it is... Uh, 
per they say, healthier than they eat, uh, you know, eat the, the ground beef that's out there. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Um, all right. So let you want to start that dish as Absolutely. far as the uh, burger is concerned, and, and you can talk about. Uh, I want to talk about Country Jam. That's sure coming up. Thing. Yeah, absolutely. Is this the first year for that, or have you had this in We've the past? We've definitely done a rendition of it in the past. Okay. So it's going to be Sunday, October 16th, 12 to 6 p.m. Okay. It's going to be a lot of local bands. You know, they're going to be performing all afternoon, as well as, you know, food vendors, distilleries, wineries, oh. tons of family fun activities. This is a, this is a party atmosphere. Yeah, absolutely. It's yeah. going to be a really great, great afternoon. So we're going to be doing uh, rock climbing. There's going to be a petting zoo pumpkin patch, oh, wow. tons of stuff. Our Mountain Activity Center is also going to be, you know, doing their activities throughout the day. It's going to be a really great and enjoyable afternoon. So. Yeah, so it's funny because, you know, a lot of people think of all our, our ski resorts as just, oh, just go in the winter. No, 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 no. It's year-round, for sure. Absolutely. And you Absolutely. guys do a good job, you know, even like now, where you know ski season's around the corner, mm -hmm. you get, you, you plan stuff leading Ramping up to that. Up to it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's so. good. Well, we'll cross our fingers for the for the good weather, for mm -hmm. sure. I'll take snow in October. Yeah. I would love that. Yeah. <laughs> I know you mentioned before with Eve, you know, a, a good start date for ski season would be Thanksgiving. Generally, that the last few years, that hasn't been the case. But right. by mid-December, if yeah. you can do that, that's pretty good. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. I, our track record has been right around Christmas the past few years. Yeah. Any time earlier than that, and I'd consider that a win for us. Right. So. And you can even go a little bit later in the season, too, because sure it stays thing. a little bit cooler yeah. a little bit later. So this is quick, right? The Elk Burger, what, couple, a few minutes on each uh, side? You're looking at about three and a half, four minutes each side. Okay. Uh, I prefer to have it at a, uh, a soft medium to medium. Okay. Uh, with game meats, I believe when you get over the medium range, it, uh, it gets a little tough and you lose a lot of the nuances of right. the flavor. Okay. Uh, this is uh, one of our number one sellers in the grill, which is going to stay for the new menu. Oh. Uh, we also paired with 44 farms out of uh, Texas. Uh, they're a boutique. Um, uh, they raise uh, cattle, uh, but they're boutique-ish. They only do 300 heads a, a month. Uh, so we were lucky enough to be able to pair with them. Uh, and then gotcha. that's the feature at the end, the 20-ounce uh, uh, bone in New York strip with the bone marrow uh, compound. Butter. That's a good tease in TV, as we call it. That Absolutely. is coming. Thanks, Matt. Well, the grill at Bear Creek in Berks County serves seasonal favorites, along with a gorgeous mountain view, of course. Executive chef Anthony DiStefano and manager Jack Lawbach join Haciel now in the kitchen. Guys, good morning. Good morning. Thanks so much, Eve. And boy, they told me this was the best segment, and I can see why, right? Absolutely. Talk Absolutely. about this steak. Oh, uh, what can I say that's not already uh, great about it? It's a 20-ounce uh, Kansas City, New York strip uh -huh. uh, through 44 farms out of... Uh, Texas. We paired with them for a meat program for the fall for the grill. Uh, and that menu will be debuting uh, mid November. Nice. Um, one of the great things about the steak itself is that uh, there's absolutely no hormones. Uh, it's all natural. They uh -huh. only do 300 head of cattle a month. So we're very lucky uh, to be able to get them as a partner. Nice. Uh, and we're just finishing off right now. It's a 20 ounce, so obviously it takes a little bit, but we'll get her here to about a soft medium. And then uh, in the next segment, we'll come in and let you guys try to taste it. Sounds great. And speaking of taste, You've got a farm to table dinner coming up. That is correct. Tell me a little bit about yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. So Tuesday, October 11th, 6:30 p.m., we're going to be doing a, a very limited 10-course tasting menu. It's going to be all locally sourced ingredients, from our proteins to uh, vegetables and cheeses. Yeah. You know, we're going to be definitely looking towards the Lehigh Valley, bringing in some great products. We have, you know, a phenomenal culinary team that's curating this menu, and it's it's definitely something to talk about. Uh, we're going to be doing wine pairings with that as well. Yeah. So we're bringing in a sommelier to, you know, curate some uh, some wines to go along with wow. these uh, dishes. So it's it's going to be fantastic, and we're really looking forward to it. Is this sommelier from New York? Uh, his location, I'm not aware of. Undisclosed. It's a secret. Okay. <laughs> Talk about the sangria here. What, what yeah, so this sangria, it? it's that's going to be our caramel apple sangria, which we're running right now on our uh, fall cocktail menu. Mm -hmm. It's super simple. Just a bottle or two of Pinot Noir, some caramel vodka, butterscotch schnapps, mm -hmm. uh, cutting up a couple apples, whatever you like. We used um, Honeycrisp today. And Ooh. then just tossing a couple cinnamon sticks. And if you don't have any cinnamon sticks on hand, uh, definitely just a couple shakes of some uh, ground up cinnamon. Mm -hmm. It's perfect for the fall. Serve it cold, serve it warm. Yeah. It's a delicious beverage. Honeycrisp crisp is one of my favorite apples. Absolutely. Yeah, they yeah, are delicious. Those. All right, guys, great job. Thanks so Thank much. You very much. Thank you so much. Much. And we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Stay Thank with you. us.
All right, we're back with Jack and Anthony from Bear Creek Mountain Resort and the grill at Bear Creek. Guys, just review for us what you made. Absolutely. Uh, in the front, uh, next to the sangria, we have a uh, grilled salmon BLT, house-made bacon, shallot aioli, uh, and a uh, guacamole smash. Uh, next to that, in the center, uh, we have our Black Canyon uh, Elk Burger with um, house-made bacon jam and uh, pickled red onions on a grilled brioche. Oh, Last God. but not least, uh, the 44 Farms Kansas City 20-ounce uh, grilled New York strip that has uh, charred carrots, uh, smashed Yukon gold uh, potatoes, and then we finish that off with a bone marrow compound butter. Wow. I mean, this just looks so seasonal, like what you should be drinking yes. or eating. I'm on looking a at that steak. Those slices are the exact width, every single one of them. I know. It's <laughs> amazing. Perfect. Thank you. I you know uh, your stuff. You I take a lot of that. pride in that, I'm sure. Uh, I get taught a lot. You know, even being the culinary leader, you uh, you got to perform. And, uh, you know, that's why I take care of everything that comes in there as far as the food. You know, we really do care about it. We have a great leadership team above us, our general manager and our food and bed manager. So we really do take, uh, you know, the culinary end really serious. Um, yeah. And uh, it's, a, it's a great opportunity for all. I'm just happy to be there to be able to represent. And how crazy, or how do things change in the kitchen? You know, when all the skiers and snowboarders come in, hopefully sooner, as soon as possible. Absolutely. Do you yeah. guys gear up and up your staff? Uh, yeah, so we're already in the hiring phases for the winter time. I'm already having pre-meetings, you know, getting ready to go. And, uh, yeah. you know, you don't want to go in flat-footed. But oh. a lot of it is um, having the right team. And we, we have one of the best around. Uh, again, uh, it's not just me. Uh, everybody has a hand in it, you know, all facets of the resort. Uh, I always say I have ten fingers, and it takes a thousand to make a day happen. So uh, it's not, it, believe me, it's not all about me. I just represent the team, and uh, I could not do it without them. All right. That's a great approach. Yeah, that's a great approach. Yep. All right. And a relatively new team. I understand. I uh, talked to a friend that worked there yeah. and you guys yeah. kind of t turned over people. Uh, I just, some people had left to go on to bigger and better things. Uh, you know, I came into the resort because it was Disneyland for a chef. Uh, yeah. If you take your profession seriously, right, yeah. then you can see the scope and, uh, you know, what lies in front of you. Uh, so you. I had a great opportunity to work with uh, great chefs there still. Uh, and I think that our notoriety as it grows. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Awesome All right. job. Thanks. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. Yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you. We'll be right back. Yep. We'll be back. <laughs>